Good evening. I don't know about anybody else, but it's feeling cold. Um, I've just turned my heating on in here slightly because it feels very cold. I've only got one radiator on in the bathroom most of the time, but nowhere else. But it feels very cold. I hope everyone else is feeling warm. Um, I'm going to be sharing now um, the meditations of Billy Graham's daughter, Anne Lotz, and the last day of um, October. And I've just had a glance, and the words are beautiful. And uh, she's gifted. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for life. O Mary, bright dawn of the new world, Mother of the living, to you do we entrust the cause of life. Look down, O Mother, on the vast numbers of babies, not allowed to be born, of the poor whose lives are made difficult, of men and women who are victims of brutal violence, of the elderly and the sick, killed by indifference or out of misguided mercy. Grant that all who believe in your Son may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to the people of our time. Obtain for them the grace to accept that gospel as a gift ever new, the joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives and the courage to bear witness to it resolutely in order to build together with all people of goodwill the civilization of truth and love to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life. So for October the 31st, 2022, it's just after 8pm, Anne has given the title Faith in the God of Creation. And the reading is from Psalm 147, verse 7 to 8. Sing praises on the harp to our God, who covers the heavens with clouds who prepares rain for the earth. Although God was actively involved throughout the creation process, in the beginning the earth was formless and empty. Genesis 1 verse 2 If you and I had been present to view the earth, we might have had the impression that God was not doing anything. Yet, at that very time, the Spirit of God was hovering over the water. Genesis 1, 2 He was actively preparing planet Earth to be transformed into a place of beauty. And purpose. Are you concerned for a friend whose life is like the surface of the deep, undulating, unstable, always changing, and moody? Even though you have prayed without ceasing, have you seen no evidence of God's activity in that person's life? Have you therefore concluded that 
God is not active? Place your faith in the God of creation and be encouraged. He is active. Whether or not you and I can see evidence of his activity. She's ended it with God's story. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance and may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. God bless your evening and if you have time to pray, pray this evening against all the people who are misled at this time of the year and that they will also receive God into their life before it ends. God bless. Thank you so much for your encouragement and your sharing your words and things. I appreciate it. Thank you.